me that it's all my fault It would've been perfect all along It would've been right and not another wrong And it would be the happy, not a sad song Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I know another like stretch resolution related video, which I didn't really want to do two videos like this in a row, but I'm I'm sort of sort of mandatory. Like I really wanted to go over this, and a lot of people wanted me to as well. You know, guys, I've had like a few comments here and there about like this person in particular. And yes, this guy is called EJ Lad. You guys don't know him. Basically, he really blew up. Now he's in parallel. Channel actually blew up insane, like insanely. You guys don't know the EJ Dash. I'm guessing a lot of you guys know the EJ Dash. And that was originally like founded. But, like he created, I guess, by him. He was the one who found it out. Posted a video with it and sort of just blew up from there. A YouTuber named Flea actually um, shouted him out. And it really took off his channel. He then joined parallel. And then it's just been creating content since. This guy called EJ Lad is a great YouTuber. I'll link him down below. Shout out and credit all to him. I'll be using some some of his footage in this video and showing you guys exactly what i mean by um basically the title of this video but yeah guys in today's video i'll be showing you and telling you guys exactly why it almost seems if he like as if he has og stretch resolution in fortnite season 10 i mean there's like three days left to fortnite season 10 but either way he's gonna have this in season 11 regardless unless i i don't know like the actual og og stretch resolution comes back but i'm i'm guessing he like he literally has it like it's almost as if he has no fov decrease and his fov almost looks the same and it's basically is like he basically has og stretch resolution it's kind of weird um i'll go through that and exactly why in this video but i guess first i'm gonna have to play a clip just to show you guys exactly what i mean and how his resolution looks compared to anyone like anyone else i'll play a quick now like a quick clip now of his last video and um, basically you guys be able to see the resolution he was using how it literally does look like just the old stretch resolution like literally old stretch resolution think about maybe using like six, 1600 by like 1080 think of that like the in the, in the old resolution that's basically what he has right here so like yeah just like watch the clip Yeah, as you guys can see, it like literally looks as if he's got the old stretch resolution and it's like very different to yours. So if you would just have a normal monitor, you would to put like, I don't know, 1656 by 1080 on, um, you guys would have like a horizontally stretched game, but you guys know with like the update a long time ago now, um, basically your FOV decreases by 20. So where you'd usually get um, 90 FOV, which is native for Fortnite. So you'd have like 90 FOV on 1920 by 1080. With like, I don't know, like anything that was below that, which isn't a 16 by nine aspect ratio and is deemed as the old stretch resolution now um basically what you'd get is minus 20 fov so you'd be sitting on about 70 fov which gives you that obviously um disadvantage i guess competitively although like again you've got the better aim your characters are larger and more horizontally stretched which actually helps your aim you pretty get um better fps because you are losing pixels you still get a disadvantage in fov which no one likes and that's the reason a lot of people wouldn't even deem this as stretch resolution now but again um this is what stretch resolution is for us and yeah this guy this guy ej lad seems to have the old stretch resolution it almost looks like that everyone's been going crazy in his comments other people on my videos asking me exactly how he does it today's video yeah i'm here to explain to you exactly why his game looks like that and how he doesn't have as much as like of an fov decrease compared to others and quickly guys i'm actually just going to compare this to uh, like another video of his so i'll play the first like this video right now of this was videos a week ago just a week ago this was the fov he had and he was using some form of stretch resolution as you guys can see you guys can see in this clip right now that it is just like anyone else is. so if you were to use it if i was to use it if mongo was to use it as can see that there's clearly a decrease in fov character model is a lot closer to the screen and he's running on about 70 fov right here and again let's play the other clip from a video like two days ago he uploaded you guys can see right here that the FOV is a lot more pushed out. It seems a little bit more stretched and it's completely different. So that's exactly what I mean. Like this is a recent change he has. So I ain't going to be able to play like a ton of clips in the background of the him using this resolution. So I will have to, of course, probably switch to some other old resolution gameplay. So that's probably what I'm going to be playing in the background. Some old stretch resolution gameplay. Probably the best to do so you guys can have a feel for like what it looks like compared to his. But yeah, right now you can see his clip. And um, here he is actually playing this resolution I'm going to be talking about right now. And yes, guys guys you guys may have guessed it's kind of simple this resolution is called 1656 by 1080 now you guys may be thinking um you know we all use that we get the fov decrease but the difference between him and then using any other resolution like a different difference between him using this resolution and me using this resolution actually changed a few things in his game settings and it's also um have a different peripherals to us so he is actually using a different monitor which actually benefits him to get a more fov when using these resolutions or at least what it looks like when recording or him viewing it so this probably looks a lot better on his half 
compared to us. Um, on the recording, it's obviously in a 19 by 20 by 1080 like aspect ratio for YouTube, and it basically just looks straight. So this may be placebo. Um, maybe he doesn't even see this himself, but what we see is like this. I'm not 110% sure, but I'm pretty sure his FAV when he sees it, obviously it's a it's a lot wider, and he actually maybe has more FAV than 90. He's pretty sitting at about 100 using his resolution, and that is all down to him using a curved monitor. So what he's using is a curved gaming monitor. I'll put a few photos on screen right now of what curved gaming monitors look like. Um, probably a PNG and then uh, now I'll also just show like a full photo of what a curved gaming monitor would look like on a setup so, Yeah, it is just a normal monitor, but it's curved and it's like wide angle in a way like in some form So it's sort of like a wider monitor and it's also curved round So this means basically getting more for FAV You guys may have sort of players playing a wide like a ultra wide monitor with curved and this is exactly what he's doing right here Each lad is actually using this curved monitor probably ultra wide which is stretching out his FAV and basically he's got more to view on his screen and he's also Combine that with the stretch resolution, which horizontally stretch his, like stretches his game. Where he'd usually get minus 20 FOV, this monitor is basically sort of like not not letting that happen and is giving him a little bit more FOV to work with and it's making his game look almost OG stretched like I'm pretty sure he's maybe playing 85 FOV maybe even 90 FOV I'm not 100% sure I think he's playing about 85 FOV and I will just play the clips again it does look like his cameras on like the camera for his player is literally a little bit more above his head but yeah I think he's only losing about 10 to 5 FOV which is kind of crazy it's almost OG stretch resolution like it, it, it virtually is at this point but again it's all prohibited to how you want to spend your money um this is how he did it and this is me telling you exactly how he did it again he's obviously you're gonna have to go out and spend money um i wouldn't do it anytime soon because you never know season 11 may have some things in store for us where it may come back into fortnite custom resolutions but i'm not 100 sure so maybe after season 11 if it's not back you guys if you really want to and we're looking and getting a new monitor anyway best thing to do is probably to get a curved monitor so you guys can actually get this experience and actually have advantage over other players which is kind of crazy but you guys can all agree with me that this does look like um og stretch resolution and another thing which does make it look a little bit better he actually actually if you guys can see in the top of the video um basically his name bar and his inventory all of it is virtually gone or is at least really low basically he changed his hud scale or hud scale he made it really low so basically it's virtually um unseeable and you can't see any of his builds or anything like that so basically there's nothing else on the screen besides him and his character and obviously the whatever wherever he is and his builds so you guys don't see his name bar on the top you don't see his ping you don't see the little inventory slot at the bottom right hand corner and it's basically making his game look a lot wider so um yeah it does look as if the game is there's a lot more to see so there's basically more to view and there's not as much getting in the way of the view which sort of makes it look a lot better in some way this isn't all the reason again his ultra wide monitor really really helps him right here but again like if you do lower your hud scale using a stretch resolution you guys will realize that it does help a lot more and it almost seems as if you get more fov which is all placebo but it seems that way again though the curves monitor really helps here and that is a main factor it's like the pr the primary thing right here to to why his fov is like this and you guys can see on his video he also had to mention this himself on his own video he put resolution 1656 by 1080 and also mentioned that it was with a curved gaming monitor just so everyone is clear on that because it, honestly um i can't stress how much this does look like the og stretch resolution or virtually is so yeah if you guys want to do this you're gonna have to spend some money or um at least lower your hud scale if you haven't got the money and don't want to do that which won't help as much but again I, I did say the primary thing to this is his um curved monitor so if you guys want to buy a monitor i suggest you get a curved one i guess you should wait a little bit just in case og stretch resolution does make a return but again like he has getting an advantage doing this this is a competitive advantage which is which is really weird like that that you could they pay to win this is virtually pay to win it's kind of weird maybe this will get patched soon for now i'll figure out a way to like support all resolutions and make sure that all resolutions do not let you get any FAV increase when using maybe like a custom resolution on top of that but yeah guys i thought i'd just go over this in this video and explain to you guys before i get any more comments basically it's his peripherals and it's a monitor he's using which is actually helping him out here and pushing out the fov so yeah it does look og re like resolution um yeah it's basically just his monitor which is helping it look like that and yeah it's very unlikely that you guys are going to do this i thought i'd just mention it for you guys if you guys did watch to the end this actually taught you anything or you just generally watched to the end the least you can do is drop a like on the video which really supports me more than you think and helps the video push out to further people so that'd be greatly appreciated if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss an upload on my channel uh, and are like updated on every video i make i always make a bunch of videos like this and basically give you guys fortnite news you guys fun tips and tricks to better your game so if you guys do want any of that make sure you are subscribed with post notifications on you can also get a note 
notification shout out if you are leaving comments down below yeah that'd be greatly appreciated as well again let me know what you guys think about this um it's kind of crazy in my opinion and it is basically pay to win um in some in some factor you're getting an advantage but yeah i just wanted to make this quick video getting over this like this whole topic boy farfetch and yeah peace